What's up everybody? I'm Wes Green. Today I'm going to show you some basics. We're going to show you how to set up a session. Let's get right into it. So we've got a session here that is pretty much completely raw. It's just the production and the rap track to it. My friend Protégé, an excellent rapper, a song that did not make his album and I figured we'd make a good tutorial here today. Don't you get the tripping on me? Uh, yeah, I don't want to leave you alone. So the first thing I like to do, identify where your kick and snare is. Don't you get the tripping on me? I'm gonna move that right up top. Then what you always gotta do, and I often do this in programming, with your kick snare track, take it, duplicate it, and separate your kicks from your snares. Like so, snares were up top, we're taking snares out. And we grab the top track and do the opposite. Do do do. Boom. Alright. Don't you get the tripping on me? Kick snare. Next we're getting bass. I saw that down there. I like to put bass all the way up at the top because you're gonna want to be able to see your kick and your bass next to each other. And we'll be good engineers and label as we go. Bass, kick, snare. So we're basically grouping up the drums from here. We're grabbing all the percussion and moving those next hi-hats next to the snares. Here go to crashes. What else is in this section? Here goes a busier hi hat. It's like the low kind of percussive hi hat. Snares. And I like it to kind of look like that. That you're gonna do bass, kick, snare. You want all three of those things to be able to see them in your mixer. Breaks it down to a nice manageable size. You're going to be doing low end management and some things we'll teach you about a little bit more in a different lesson. But for right now, we're just kind of focusing on the actual organization of the session. I think we'll move this main guitar element up to here because that's kind of happening throughout the song. We'll see it as our first instrument track. And what's that, a crash? Sure is. All right, so real quickly, guitar, crash, what's that, the hook? That second vox. So we've cleaned that up. We know what we're looking at basically there. So that's the basics of how you want to format it so you can look at it. Then I like to color code when I'm doing a full session. So grab all your drums and I do my colors drums blue, instruments yellow, vocals green. You can make any color code that works for you. To a deeper blue then even my we're going to call our vocal samples instruments in this case and there goes our vocals in green so that's nice and easy to look at that is a nice clean way to start your session and i'll show you a couple other things about the format down here i don't know why logic does it separate but you can grab this down here you have to do the mixer colors on their own. And now we have the same color code down bottom. But that's pretty much everything you need as far as laying out your session to start looking at your mix. Just puts it in a nice left to right format. You've got all your low end down here. nice and easy to read. 
anybody can kind of pick up that session and know exactly what you're looking at there. So that's color coding and organizing a session. If you found this video helpful, maybe check out some of our other videos. Click like and subscribe and leave comments if you'd like to hear some more topics. Thanks for watching. See you next time.